Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragomania Legends. So before we go off rambling as usual today, let's just get straight into hatching our new celestial dragon right here. This is what you get when you reach Dragon Scale League 1 and it's taken us way too long to actually get hold of this guy. It's rumored the Celestial Dragon came to Dragonlandia from somewhere beyond the stars. How odd, considering this trainer has such a hard time getting it to travel beyond his couch. It sounds as lazy as me, to be honest. So, we have Susu here. But the typing on this guy is actually incredibly good. Like, if you just wanted a full-out, say, support dragon, then you've got the Earth, you've got the water and then you've even got the plant there like the typing on this guy is just so incredibly good like I would probably put him on quite a lot of teams if you didn't have those elements already and if you don't have a legendary to replace him because he's just so good and he looks so sweet and look at this green on him he looks so adorable but yeah like I said that guy took absolutely forever for us to get a hold of unfortunately I have an elixir dragon here as well. I don't actually want to keep it since I already have one, so I'm just going to sell this thing. Wow! And we got some gems for it. Sweet! We got some clan stuff. Uh, we should have enough to open. Oh my god, please. We have enough to open two packs actually, so let's do this. What do we get? What do we get today? Still didn't get any pieces for our uh, liquid fire. And what's this? Again, nothing. So those two packs were pretty much worthless for us. But if you didn't already know, the new dragon of the week is actually the Phoenix Dragon. But we got the Phoenix Dragon quite a while ago. So it's more or less a free breeding week for us. Which is why I've been trying to breed the Meteor and Shadow Dragons together. Because I'm hoping to get a hold of the Rocker Dragon sometime soon. And it's one of the better combos that you can use to get him as well. But so far, not a lot of luck. But that is to be expected. And I'm going to have to cut the video a little bit short today. But I am going to do some multiplayer fights here. And then I'm going to have to end it there. Because I have just been working most of the day and then as soon as I've walked in I've just been playing Uncharted 4 because if you haven't seen I've actually started doing a walkthrough of that but with no commentary since it takes so long to actually get the content from the PS4 and upload it and then I'd have to re-record and re-watch everything again to even have commentary on that walkthrough which I don't want it would just spoil the game for me but I did just play some Uncharted multiplayer and that is uploading at the moment so I can't really do a whole lot since my internet is running so slowly now. So that's going to be fun but since I am going to be doing a lot of that game I will still be doing Dragon Mania don't worry because I know that a lot of people would be like why have you have you forgotten about us quacklacks? I'd just be like no I haven't forgotten. So I'm still going to be doing um, Dragon Mania videos as often as I regularly would but I am going to be doing those videos on top because I have literally been waiting for this game to come out since the last game came out which I believe was November of 2011 actually so you can imagine it's been quite a long wait and since this is the last installment of the series it is damn good so there is going to be a lot of that around, so I'm sorry if you don't like it, but you can just ignore it, because I will be doing more of these, like I said. Um, after the last video, a lot of people did tell me what they'd like to see. A lot of people did say that they wouldn't mind seeing other games that aren't just Dragon Mania. And while that's pretty cute to say that and be nice, I don't believe it. Like, I understand maybe a few people would go and watch it, but I realise that most of the content in, on this channel is just this, essentially. And I'm nowhere near done with Dragon Mania, and the new update is actually apparently going to be coming out for Windows and Android users, like, within the next couple of days. 
So we've got that to look forward to as well on this game. So you can imagine that I am just busy beyond belief. And I still have to work all day tomorrow and all day the next day. So if I wanted to do everything all at once, I'd have a grand total of like zero hours sleep. I just wish my internet would upload quicker, to be honest. Like, I haven't even eaten or drunk anything yet. Actually, I just left all of my drink in the other room. Whoops. Well, that would suck. And Jesus, it is difficult to get positions in Dragon Scale League 1. Let's do some more fights. I could afford to spend a little bit more time trying to get some points. Because I don't want to instantly go back down to Dragon Scale League 2 again. Just after we got to Dragon Scale League 1. That would suck. But I mean, we'll have to see what happens, really. I mean, these fights for now are decently easy, but you can see that the dragons are already starting to really, like, boost up their levels. Because Dragon Scale League 1 is definitely very competitive. I just like these fights where the dragons are lower than level 40, where I can just, just wreck everything with our clay dragon. It's just really nice. It's just really simple. Uh, but like I said, I can't wait for the new update to come out on here because it's literally just been people telling me what they find or telling me new stuff that's in it and obviously I don't know whether that's actually true or not. Uh, but I'm still waiting to see how the castle dragon is going to become available, whether it's going to be like a special clan event or a special breed, I don't know. But we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. But I'm sure everyone, as soon as we find out, will definitely be spam messaging me, as per usual. But damn, it takes forever to upload videos right now. Like, this video isn't going to be too long, and I bet it's still going to take me like 45 minutes to upload this. Like, what am I going to do in all that time? i got nothing to do. Well, I do. It's just the internet is running at, like, snail pace, so I don't want to do anything on it. Uh, I don't know. What if I just posted, like, eight videos a day of random different games? How would that go down, do you think? Do you think everyone would just dislike everything, or do you think everyone would just sort of stay to their own videos that they like to watch? I have no idea. Just imagine that. I mean, it's definitely possible for me to do that with a very, very lack of editing on all of them. I mean, these videos I don't edit apart from making the file size a little bit smaller, but I don't know. Just imagine seeing me like posting 7 billion things a day on your YouTube feed. Imagine how annoying that would be. I am going to put some more in for this. Oh god, these fights. Let's see if we can get another easy one. Okay, we actually have to try for these fights. Well, that's a little bit sucky. Gosh, game. Why are you going to be so troublesome? Like, these fights are actually going to take us a little while. I always say I am not going to spend too long doing things, and then I spend too long doing things. Typical, really. Um, we can actually take everything out in almost one shot. That's pretty good, actually. There we go. Wreck that spiky dragon. But some of these fights are already getting pretty difficult for us, but I want to get as many points as we can all in one streak because if we break the streak then obviously we're not going to get as many points if we do them in future so let's just do this for now uh, we should be able to do this fight pretty easily as well though what are you doing attacking my clay dragon you nasty nasty thing and we actually killed the tribal with that as well that's not too bad. Uh, but another thing I should probably 
mention is that for those of you that do like Pokemon, which I know a few of you do, I did actually see the new Sun and Moon starter Pokemon. And there's like an owl thing. I wish there was an owl dragon. That'd be cute. But there's new Pokemon starters that have been announced, and the new legendaries are on there as well, which is kind of weird. Oh god, what are we going to do here? But apparently there's people that have already bred the dice dragon using certain combos. Again, I don't know 100% whether that's accurate or not. So if anyone here actually has bred the dice dragon then please tell me and don't just say you have and try and mislead everyone because that's just not cool. Like it actually be genuinely nice to know whether there is a different way to breed that guy. I'd like to know. But hopefully the update will be out tomorrow. If not, then I guess I will just have to wait a little bit longer. But, well, I tell you what, I cannot wait for Friday. Oh, I'm going to enjoy my first day off in like an entire week on Friday. Oh, that's going to be lovely. It's going to be beautiful. Just think a day where I don't have to walk for an hour and a half. Oh, splendid. Absolutely smashing. And oh my goodness, these fights. This does not look like an easy fight to me. Like, this golden crow dragon right here is going to destroy us. Oh, don't use... Oh, thank God it missed. Oh. Oh. You're a legend, crow dragon. All of these things are a pain in my butt, though. Uh, let's just do that for now. Because we actually do need that shield on him. And I am going to stack a legendary thing and then use our void on the crow dragon. Goodbye, clay dragon. Is that is all I have to say. So by stacking this on the Golden Crow, we can actually take it out next turn. Oh wow, why do you take like no damage from that? Oh right, because of uh, Shadow ability. Ignore me, I'm an idiot. Basically because we used our Shadow attack on that Golden Crow, it stopped the secondary effects from proccing. So that's pretty sweet. It means no one dies. That was actually really well done, dealing with that thing. I guess this fight was easier than I thought it was going to be. You see, when people have one really high level dragon like that, it does become a little bit annoying to deal with sometimes. But I still prefer a team that's just a few levels out from itself, because most of the time they are just better. And we've got another pretty high level dragon here, and it's this cookie dragon. But we should be able to deal with it in the same way that we did before. But you can just see how strong Shadow is. Like, people talk about Shadow straight for, like, its damage. But the main reason I love Shadow is for what you just saw back then. It's the fact that the Shadow attacks can literally just stop an enemy dragon's level 6 abilities from doing anything. And that is like one of the main things that I love about, what is it called? Frightened Speechless? I believe it's called. And how is that cookie dragon not dead? It's alright anyway, we can just kill everything. Oh wow, the reindeer didn't even die. But I have taken quite a bit longer than I thought I was going to. So now that we've actually done all of those fights in a row without breaking our streak, 
We're actually at position 82. That's not too bad. But that is where I will be ending it for today. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Tell me how your breeding is going with the berry and the phoenix. Because I know a lot of people didn't get the luck dragon. So let's hope that this week's a little bit better. But like I said, until next time, I will see you guys then.